High in the Andes, almost 4,000 metres above sea level, farmers harvest their potato crops. It's from here the potato originally came. Now they're grown in almost every country in the world. Globally, it's the fourth most important food crop, rich in protein, vitamin C and calcium. But it's not the tuber's nutritional value that has caught the eye of these researchers in Israel. Starting with a simple classroom science experiment, they believe they've discovered a sustainable source of electricity for the world's poor. We managed to produce uh, electricity from, from a potato and two electrodes, one from zinc and one from copper. So what we do, we take a potato, boil it and put it between two electrodes, zinc and copper. By boiling, what we did, we reduced the internal resistance of the battery and this way we reduced the amount of energy which is wasted and therefore we increased the energy which can be used for lighting, for example. Boiled potato turned out to be 10 times more powerful than raw, with one potato battery providing enough energy for 20 hours of lighting. Connect enough of them together and you could power simple medical equipment, even a low-powered computer. The attraction of the technology, it's cheap and easy to make. It's really simple to assemble these cells and to use them. There is no need for any complicated manufacturing facilities or design or whatever. It's just a potato and two electrodes. So in terms of cost, how does the potato battery compare to conventional power sources? The researchers say the co common spud when it's wired up and connected in this way is six times more economical than kerosene lamps. Compared to conventional, commercially produced batteries, the potato battery comes in up to 50 times cheaper, a substantial saving. It sounds good, but not everyone is convinced, fearing the technology could massively increase demand for a vital food crop. They shown that they require a certain quantity of potatoes to have a very small quantity of energy. So if you multiply for the billions of people that could use this, could end up in a big or massive need of potatoes and that could conflict with food. That is, that is a, a problem. Researchers, well to answer these criticisms, researchers are planning to test whether the potato is safe to eat after it's been used in the battery. And if there is a shortage of potatoes, they say they've successfully tested both bananas and strawberries. They work, but not quite as well, and their stickiness, they say, tends to attract insects.